Hey Taurus, this is your June Lenormand reading. Lenormand. Alright. Almost there. One second. Oh, that popped out. First. All right, Taurus, here we go. So, starting off, there's something that... There's some sort of sneaky behavior. There is some sort of... I had a similar vibe with the last... With Aries. So, some of you have some Aries in your chart. This could be, like, the linking thing that's coming through. But let me drink some coffee here. <laughs> There's something here about somebody doing something that is kind of annoying or under... There's some sneakiness going on. And this could be somebody in your family. Um, this could be somebody that's like... I mean, it doesn't have to be completely like wicked or anything. I don't think it's, it's, it is intentional, but I don't think it's, like, malicious. I do see, I don't know, there's something here about somebody doing sneaky things that you might find annoying, or someone in your family could be also hiding that they've been ill. That's another way it can go. Um, this person would be an older person. Um, it could be somebody also that you consider family, that you've had, you've maybe had a career for a very long time and, um, they're a, a career partner or you've known them throughout the, your, your legacy, your career. They've been a, a staple in that. A big part of that, that line of, you know, in your life. Yeah, with the mouse and the stars underneath as well, and in the coffin, I see there being some kind of... That's so weird, because in this reading, I miss, I might have misread the last, the Aries reading. I don't believe in misreading things, to be honest, unless you're just shooting in the dark and you've never done any research at all, or, you know, you're just getting started out and you're being goofy. <laughs> but, um... There's something here about the spreading of some troubles some, or some lie that's growing bigger than, than life. <laughs> There's something growing here. It could be a trouble. It could be a lie. It could be um, an, an, a sickness as well. And... If it is somebody in your family that's been ill, it's somebody um, that is a grandmother or a mother figure. Um, because I do have the bear here with the lily card. There could have been some surgery required in order to put an end to whatever this is. It could be, um, you know, the scythe card can, it means taking away. So if it was cancer, that something that was growing was taken away, it was cancer, it would be removed by the scythe. It, it would be final also with the, 
something will be finally cut out with the coffin here. The lilies can be healing. I don't like necessarily the lilies and the coffin and the scythe all in one row. I do feel like this also can be the end of innocence. It can be something that is painful that causes the end of innocence. Wisdom comes into play here. Somebody who is... I want to say sharp as a tack and very wise. I, I just, if they are sick, it's not their mind that's going. It's their body. Um, they have this like really sassy, sharp, um, edgy kind of intelligent vibe to them. Um, I have it here with the scythe. I have it here with the fox. I mean, this is, these are two, and the book, like, pfft. this person is sharp-witted. They are probably, if they weren't a literary agent or a, or a book, they, they published books or they wrote books or they worked in a library the, all their life or there's something about books here and So, but anyway, if there is a secret, if there is a lie or a secret in the family or just in general that's going on, I also have that coming through again with the book. The book is a secret, literally. That's how it's interpreted. So, it's also occult knowledge, but in this case, I'm going to say it's a secret because I actually wasn't even reading this as when I said secret I just saw this this dynamic here this annoyance and this intelligence and sneakiness and this growing bigger than life I didn't even think about it this is also growth card and expansion and this is also a growth card as well so there's something that's growing that has either been a secret or there's a lie that's kind of grown into some maybe it's like a tall tale um there's something here about something sneaky that's been growing um or there's some something here that's been growing there is a secret about it maybe the secret's growing bigger and bigger and bigger harder to keep maybe that's what it is The lilies is also truth. Somebody isn't telling the whole truth or is taking away some of the truth. And this is kind of a sneaky thing. Someone might have taken something and didn't tell the truth. The bear is also Taurus. It's, it's, Kind of feel like it's your card sometimes it's about consumption it's about um enjoying the resources around us it's also about protection and protecting what's ours or an authority as well so it's like a little capricorn vibe to it too parental vibe There could be some sort of loss um, in the family. This doesn't mean that it's going to be your parent, but it could be your parent's parent. Like I said, a grandmother. Um, somebody older in the family. Somebody was in the matriarchal line. Um, this is also, they, they would have been sick for a while. Maybe they didn't tell you exactly how sick they were because there were elements of the truth that were, you had to pick through the truth. This person was very, very, very intelligent. They had like a library at home <laughs> or they had written a book or
this could even be that there was something that ended in terms of the health with a surgery. They, they, they fixed it. But this could also go the other way. Just because I have... I don't like it when the scythe ends on the last card. It's just not a... It's not a pleasant feeling. I don't like it. It's because the scythe can be dangerous too, you know? It can be like quickly taking something it can be somebody being sharp as a tack and there's something here about someone in someone's intelligence could be also growing there's something the mouse is something little and, and annoying but then also grows up to be much bigger. So it's like, I have the mouse, I have the bear, I have the mouse, I have a tree. Like, there's a comparison in size here. And there's also about growth and spreading, spreading out. So somebody in the family could have grown a lot from this experience or, or has matured. There's a maturity coming in with the... So nurturing and a maturity here. This can also be an authority on health as well. Finding some sort of, um, they could have a career in, in the health field. Or work in some sort of nurturing kind of environment. Um, Troubles that are, that, that are growing and annoying um, end as well. That's another way I can interpret this. So any troubles that have been growing, but blowing out of proportion, they, they end. There's something that ends and it's final, you know. Things go quiet in that department. Then there's some sort of... I mean, a mother could offer, a mother figure could offer some advice, some wisdom to you in regards to how to handle this situation. In terms of your life, in terms of your your money, um, in terms of there's also a detective here. There's somebody here that is. A detective, like a literal cop of some kind. A closed case. Somebody closes a case. In terms of the law. I have no idea what that's about. The book is some sort of secret or some sort of actual document or, or writing material or reading material. And it seems like it's the end of a book. So it's the end of a chapter. Maybe it's been annoying. Something's been troubling. And it's a troubling chapter ends. So there's something that's that's been troubling and it or ailing and it's, it's ending now. And then uh, this end could be... Um, Know, there's some sort of growth that has to be cut back. Um, it could be a change that, the changing the way, an ending to this kind of growth, a stopping to the growth of something, a cutting away. It can be like literally mowing the lawn, cutting down a tree, or cutting out cancer, or there's something here about. Something's over and you cut it up. And if I saw any kind of relationship kind of cards coming in, I'd say it was like a relationship, you know? But it's not. It doesn't seem like that.
the end of one legacy that is painful. There's something here about like, this could be literally talking about something that's going to be in the news. I don't know. Sometimes I get weird things, weird hits on things. And it's not a personal thing at all. But I try to, you know, say it's Taurus that we're talking about. So this can also be growing your own food. So this can be like literal that you're going to eat. Um that's another way I can interpret this down the center. So there is some sort of learning about gardening or farming or agriculture of some kind. And maybe the end of growth and, and the cutting is the harvesting. Okay, all right. So this is at least getting a little less bleak. So <laughs> there is some sort of ending of a growth phase. And then a cutting, cutting away, cutting back, probably to harvest is what I'm assuming with the tree and the lily here. And this stars card is the seeds, right? And the seeds are little with the mouse. So you plant the seeds, they sprout, they grow, life ends. It's a cycle of life, just like the tree. It's about consuming what we're taking in. Um, it's what we take away from what we take in as well. So there's a lot of animals here as well. So that could be of significance with whatever information is coming in or um, there's a gradual becoming or expanding one's one's body of knowledge so this is like becoming more of a master at something um, becoming very well bred in something or very um, astute in a topic very talented, I want to say as well. The stars can be about recognition too. And in regards to many different things, it's, it's like being multi-talented, um, the star card. So um, this is also about space, bodies in space. There could be some sort of sci-fi thing you're into or um, something to do with um, astronomy and that that you're reading about or that you're learning about. And the tree and the book and the lily and the stars all together say school to me. It's like a growing of knowledge, a, a legacy, um, a building of a building blocks of knowledge, you know. And it's also something that we're consuming as well and we're nurturing, we're nurturing our education. Could be a literal thing with the book. It's like a school text. Getting books for college. Might be taking a summer program. Intelligence that's growing, yeah. I, I definitely see that, being sharp. This is also somebody going places that are dark and quiet to kind of find some sparkly things and cutting them out. So this could be like mining as well.
also there's carpentry here Taurus there's carpentry because they have the the coffin which is a box right in its purest like most you know unadulterated by social concepts it's a box and it's made out of a tree and there's a tool here that would cut the tree down to make it right so there's something here about learning how to do carpentry, learning how to do some sort of skill, being very good at it, learning a lot about it before you even start school, and then being a lot more, you know, running through the material much faster, being very sharp and on your feet. There is some sort of rapid expansion of intelligence here being very sharp, just very quick-witted. The book, some kind of mm, tedious. You might find that a book that you're reading, this is so mundane, but um, a book that you're reading is just, it's you're having a hard time getting through it and you just stop reading it. Or you change books. You're just like, I can't. I mean, if it's for school, obviously, you're not going to do that, but like, you might not like how a book ends or maybe something ended in your life that was a chapter of your life that was could be a troubling secret as well that has come to that has come to an end meaning it's come out with a lily card here There could also be an ending that's been kept secret. So I don't have the child card. Maybe there are no real children involved. Maybe there there's adult children involved in this situation. But there could be a divorce in the family. Is the other way I can read it. Like not a literal death. But like the end of some sort of family. Some sort of legacy. Um, a change of... A cutting of, of ties, you know? So there could be a divorce in the family. Um, somebody could have had a secret, you know, that led up to that. Or that the divorce itself was a secret. A loss of innocence. That, that is, I don't know, tricky, intelligence. There's something there about being innocence being stolen. I'll just say that. I'm not going to get into deets. second here. Something troubling that's secretive that brings an ending to something. There's a finale to something. Then there's this like spreading the word. This can also be gossip. I don't have the birds, but I feel like the fox and the and the stars is like spreading my intelligence, what I've learned, um, a leaking of intelligence, right? There's some sort of intelligence leak here with the mouse and the There's a leak that goes public. 
in some regard or spreads out. This can also be somebody who is somebody who was an authority on something that was recognized as being an authority or having some clout or connections to authority in some sort of way, revealing secrets. I don't have the sun, but I just have the ending of a secret, you know, secrets that are ending. So they're not secrets anymore if they end. So is really interesting Taurus there is this like everything from like government officials or some sort of leak in information that leads to things getting out and going public or some sort of this could even be within your own family it doesn't have to be on like a global scale it can be literally something gets out Somebody's having a divorce, or somebody's been sick, or some, and it gets out, and, and it's like everyone's gossiping about it, everyone's talking about it. It's a big deal. It's a big secret. It's making it a lot bigger, also, people getting a hold of it, the information. You could literally say, I've had enough with this family member that's been trouble. I, I just see, like having a family member that's maybe squished in between the mice and the fox is just kind of like they're either always fighting or they're always causing trouble or they're always sneaking around and causing trouble. There's also a cutting of this sneakiness like once you have the information, you just cut, cut into it. It could be painful as well, whatever this is, sneaking around in secrets, you know, there's just, there's some pain here too. And that being opposite the mice, it just adds more to the, to the blow of something that's troubling and painful or annoying and that's causing you grief. The coffin card is also a card of grief, but it's uh, it's more of grieving the end of something. It's it's an ending to sneaking around. So if this is something to do with like a boyfriend or partner or anything, the ending will will come and it'll be final with the coffin and the scythe. But you'll know it's for the best, like having it, the lily in the center of it. It's just like, it's the truth. It kind of sets you free, you know? There is some annoyance that could be growing much bigger than, there's like a... Uh, uh, a trying to keep something contained as well. Like maybe you had one mouse for a pet or your kid had one mouse for a pet and then they had, you know, another friend that brought a mouse over and then they had babies and then those babies start to have babies and you're like, hell no. <laughs> He's like, no, I cannot deal with this. This is also just planting uh, trees in a box garden. There's something about box gardening here of some kind. If you are getting into a tree on top of a house, any, anywhere high up, be very careful. Make sure you have a spotter or something.
Because I have the tree and the, the stars. It's high up, right? Those are, those are all about positionings and distance from the ground. So yeah, you don't just be careful because with the mice that can be like sickness and, and noises with health or troubles with health. And then with the tree that that's my health card, but it's not, I wish it was like, I mean, in the middle is fine, but it's being influenced by two kind of annoying cards. But this is about an older female in your family. It also can be that she. She might be ailing, but her mind is still intact. Like, it's making that differentiation. Um, but it's... It can be also, like... Being, um... Being slick and having some difficulty from... While you're up high in, in dealing with something, so... Or making quick moves when you're up high and that resulting in kind of a missed step or some kind or something. So just be careful. I don't like to make people paranoid, but... It could be that, you know, you've known somebody's been sick for a long time and then they, they do finally pass on and then there's like, that that's painful, but you've... You're able to grieve and stuff. I just don't like to say that because usually the coffin card is just about transitions and and endings and, and times of quiet and stillness, you know? It's not... It just could be quiet time with the family. Like, um, everyone could be working a lot, doing physical labor, or there could be... Some sort of divorce or something. It's all also this. It doesn't have to be physical pain. Although, I do see like something to do with health and pain. So, there's something there about that. What else? What else? There is something about secret intelligence that is being fast news like there's a there's a some sort of leak of some kind or there's a there's a censorship of some kind that will be coming in um, this can also be making um, some sort of mental uh, connecting the dots for yourself, having a, an, an epiphany, um, some sort of understanding that leads to higher knowledge as well. So this could be learning something that ends up being um, you find your purpose in life or learning something and you end up um, you end up changing your mind about something because you've been enlightened you know um, this is also darts as well like literally playing darts Somebody has carved their name into a tree or some sort of wood carving or there is something it could be something in the family that's been passed down
Also, um, a pet could gain some weight, and you might have to cut the, cut the, the, the weight down somehow or start working on that. The Book of Peace or a Book of Truth. Proverbs or something. Information that is wise, that is being um, scroll, sent out, and dispersed outward. To the public um, in regards to health. Um, you might have some sort of geriatric um, or some sort of information that is um, new information. It's, it's new information or wisdom that is coming from or it's secret information. Something that's been kept from the public as well that's being released in terms of health information. This could be your, your records as well. This could be health records. And connecting the dots with different things from prior health records in your, in your family or in your life. This could also be genetics. Taurus, I think this is a genetic. Are you getting a genetic test like 23andMe or something like that? Because I see here there's like this little flower and there's this big tree and how long it took to get that tree and then the tree's history. And the truth behind it. The wisdom behind it. And all that it's connected to. Could be doing somebody's 23 and me and finding out a secret, a family secret. If you had a sibling somewhere you didn't know about, or a cousin, or it could be not just a secret, it could be like, not, not that it was maliciously kept from you, but it just, just happened to not come up. You didn't, that your parents didn't know, or nobody knew, and so it shows up on this this informative um, the website even because it's also about records records and the internet yeah this could be like a 23 and me type thing something little that is in charge of of life, really, right? In charge of it's what we're made up of, right? And then there's this sharpness here because you have to prick your finger, you have to get that drop of blood. And that's where I was trying to get with the tree there's like this box and where does it come from? It comes from the tree and the tree is made into books. And, and so there's like, where did everything come from type feel to it? It's also like the smarts of information that it comes from a prick of the finger as well. So, and the stars and the scythe can literally be a hole pricked by something puncturing something mm. 
The stars can also be sugar. So you might have been sick for a while or someone in your family might have been sick for a while and then they had to stop eating sugar because they developed something with their health in regards to sugar. Ending something for the health, cutting something out. It might have been challenging to do that. It's annoying, but you know that it's wise, it's for the best, it's a smart move. There is something about some sort of sci-fi book um, getting popularized, and it, it doesn't have to be sci-fi necessarily. It could be like literal, like real science that is that used to be seen as fiction. It could be about life on other planets or, or something here about like there's this growing um, you could also buy a book on the internet and be like the most literal thing or something learn something on the internet as well what we're consuming on the internet and how that's being censored is also coming into play because it's sneaky um, there's some sort of sneakiness that is being recognized or that is something is spreading out and and becoming popular in some sort of way and then there's this kind of reining back and trying to cut it away and 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 keep quiet about it so there is censorship involved in something you might hear about that on the news this is also having to do with AI because the fox and the the stars card together um, and the scythe that are all like associated with one another they talk about the mechanics of, of futuristic intelligence and the mouse is something little that ends up growing and getting smarter. Sugar in the diet could also be something that comes up that's, that's something that information that you're privy to or something there's there's news about these things AI intelligence about sugars in the diet having to do with weight gain or weight loss or there's something here about that in terms of health and um, understanding of like like the family values type situation I don't know what that is but it's coming through that way We might lose an undercover detective. I mean, this is Taurus. This is all like coming across. It's like I'm watching a newsreel with you. Are you a newscaster? Like, what is, <laughs> what is the thing that? What do you, What do you do? What What is going on? This can also be something to do with drugs, smuggling drugs, doing drugs, police being investigating something like that. This can be heroin because of the flowers there. I see like a 
putting the cocaine with the stars. And the loss of some detective of some kind. This is all like a newsreel. It's so weird. I sure hope it isn't your, your personal life. There could be something about um, the, you could be thinking about how long you've been a vegan for or how long you've been consuming some sort of diet. There's, so, there's something about getting smarter about your diet, getting smarter about what you consume. Um, whether it be on the TV, on the internet, on the media in general. This is also sneaking off to watch the movies. A shooting star as well with the scythe and the stars card. Shooting star and what about the fox? The fox is fast too. It's like very quick and... Oh, it could be baseball. I could be talking about baseball. I don't know why I'm getting that, but it, it's just like the bat and the ball and the, and the fox. Something about the fox is giving me ball player vibes. I don't know why. Being quick on your feet and having to catch something quickly. Something about that. I don't know. The, the bear is about fortitude and being strong, and the tree is very strong and old. So this could be about something to do with keeping your body stronger and as you age. Something about that too. This can also be about ending old age through plastic surgery. <laughs> and that would mean that you would be taking away most of the time, right? So that's to go from little annoying things with aging, so wrinkles or um, the bear can literally be the head or the face. So this could be a facelift. I mean, there's so many different things that are coming through. It's so interesting. So I'm getting like trees being made into books and then flowers being made into um, herbs. So there's something about herbs here, some sort of herb garden or some sort of growing your own herbs to eat or getting a book on it or writing a book on it or just something about that. Running fast with certain information can be dangerous. I don't know why that's coming through. Someone taking something is caught. Is trapped. There's something about being trapped. It's like a chase and then being trapped and then an ending to being, an, an ending to being sneaky of some kind. And this could be on the news, this could be within the family setting, um, some sort of secret. The truth is revealed and, and everyone finds out about it. In the center of, I didn't even really focus on the center, but the, in the center is like being in charge. You, you could have more responsibilities this period, Taurus. You could have 
just your family might have a lot more, um, be putting a lot more pressure on you, not that they're meaning to do it, but there's something here about having more responsibility, being in charge of something, really kind of being relied upon. You could be also a mom and, and having that be like a really big focus this month that just like all different kinds of things going on. Um, you might be taking care of your parents while you're raising your own family, while people are sick or if people, you have a second job or, you know, just like a lot of things going on for you. Um, This is also a photograph of a grandmother or a mother figure. Something ends, um, troubles end that have been kind of coming from everywhere in multiples and um, there's peace that is that comes in quickly, all of a sudden, there's like a, a, a quietness. With the fox and the lily, that's it's a very quiet pair, with especially next to the, the coffin. It's just a very quiet time. So it could start off really annoying and very loud and just very scattered. Um, it could be very confusing, and the confusion, the confusion with whatever has been kind of a growing problem in your in your life during this period Taurus will end and then there'll be some sort of growth that is obtained from uh, some sort of status or responsibility of some kind um, there's a maturity here and then in some sh some something like There's intelligence here that is maybe it's like a jobs contract ends or there's some sort of writing about it there's like a something about writing or <sighs> deep breaths <laughs> there is this this could be like literal school too of one chapter and how it's the beginning of another one but there is like this gracefulness with the fox it's just there's a gracefulness and the secret to it that comes to you it's like an epiphany of some kind in terms of your health just stay youthful this is also could be about vitality as well you just get a system down um, you learn what foods to eat. You, you're just like really into like the long term and planning for the long term. This can also be about something like saucy and secretive being cut out. There's something here about sneakiness and secrets. And it has to do with the family. So someone in the family is being sneaky or thinks they're being smart about something. Yeah, that secret ends. It's like a closed case. Like, we figured it out. I 
And also a contract could end as well. And what that contract would be about would be... Uh, I don't really see the letter here. This is more of like information in general. It could be like a piece of paper or a, like a big kind of contract, large contract. Maybe it's a loan. I don't have really like a lot of money on the table though. Like, I don't see anything to do with money except for like the book could literally be money. So the neck to the tree, it could be it potentially be money. If it was money, somebody could might have. Somebody was hiding money, <laughs> and they got caught, found out. It could be money. Spreading out of, of the stars and the, the expansion, right? There's a, like a, accruing interest. Like going from something small and annoying and tedious to being much larger of a lump sum. So somebody could have been taking money or could be taking money out of your account. So, and they're doing it in little amounts at a time, which ends up being a lot more money. So make sure that you're keeping on top of that or, or if this is not about somebody stealing it from you. This could literally be starting a savings plan a long time ago and it being kind of annoying. You're like, oh my God, I'm putting a cent in the, in the bank every week or, you know what I mean? Like it's, it seemed petty and ridiculous, but then you look back and you're like, wow, I got a lot of money in there now. It's like that realization of having a lot of, it was a smart move, you know, a good investment. That's what I'm thinking. It's a good investment and you withdraw that money. It comes to you quickly in some sort of way. This is also family inheritance. I don't have the clover, but I do have the tree and I have the bear and the lily. And with the coffin there and the scythe and the book, it just... The, the wishes with the stars card, right? My wishes about um, who's to have, who's to take, who's to consume on paper. Who's, you know, so it's personal, like, values even. Personal belonging. This could just literally be like someone in the family is always fighting. There's like an annoying couple that's always fighting or there's somebody was taking something in the family or from the family and then there being like someone's trying to figure out who it was. There's like a sleuth in the, in the house and... It's like, who stole the cookies from the cookie jar, bitch? Like,
It might be tedious to go through a lot of paperwork, but it's super, super essential to end a situation. You have to do it to end a situation. There could be a little clause in there. There's an exception, maybe. A little exception, a little clause. All right, Taurus, I really hope that you got something out of that. I'm sorry if it was very scattered. Of Lenormand does not like the tarot. Um, it can be, it can connect really well and just flow for me, but it is my second system that I've learned. And so it isn't always like the strongest for me. And that's why I predominantly go to the tarot. Um, but I do enjoy it because there's so many things that can come through, like, that you wouldn't even expect. I get more shocked by the Lenormand, Lenormand than um, the tarot because the tarot is usually like, I mean, it will happen for me with the tarot. I'll be like, oh, there's, I'm in a flow. There's things coming through, but it's it's harder with less cards, you know. So Lenormand's a pretty small deck, so there's just a lot of other nuances that you kind of find over the the course of your learning. Somebody stops cutting down trees? I don't get it. I mean, a box is made from cutting down trees. Um, paper is made for that book. I see that book right there. So there's like growth that happens that allows there's like some things are grown to be ended, right? They're grown to be ended, but the the ending is not the end. It's like they are the energy is just transformed. They are transformed into something else. So a tree is cut down and it is transformed into paper and then that paper is, is, is assembled and built to make a book. And then that book could be about, you know, flowers and it teaches you how to plant the seeds for the flowers in order to have more growth of the trees. And it's like a cycle of there's something about renewed energy. There's something about renewal of renewal of something. Um, it ha there, that will come into uh, into your life in some sort of way, Taurus. It'll be like recycling energy, or you're going to be getting hand me downs instead. You might choose to, you know, recycle instead of just throw, or figuring out where the recycling is going. Because I just watched something today about that. There's something about systems and how we do things and the process of which things are made and do that does that give back in the end or does it just take away okay and i hope you got something to take away from this reading taurus i hope you have a really good month and i'll see you in july Bye bye